Hello there YouTube. This is an updated tutorial on how to use SharePod. My old one is getting outdated now and I thought I would update it to show you how to use it and how to back up your music. Okay, so first thing you want to do is go to SharePod get SharePod.com. Okay, right up here. Then you're gonna want to click on download and then again download right in the center of the page you're gonna need winzip or winrar to open the file and I will put a link in the description all you gotta do is open it up you don't need to save it okay so I got a folder here called sharepod it's sitting on my desktop so you're just gonna wanna drag the sharepod exe onto your desktop or a folder anywhere where it's easy access and the readme you won't need because I am your readme so go ahead and close the zip file you don't need it anymore and you're gonna wanna do two things before you run SharePod one is connect your device be it an iPhone, iPod, whatever okay and then you're gonna wanna close iTunes mine is open because my iPhone is set to open it up and auto sync so here's what happens if you leave iTunes open it'll ask you to close it or continue anyway go ahead and hit close mine will most likely reopen and that's okay because the changes that it does that warning that it gave you um, it's just in case like your device is syncing or whatever you see it says syncing and backing up so you're just gonna want to wait for that to finish before you do anything in SharePod so we'll just wait a second here and finishing sync okay once it stops syncing go ahead and either minimize iTunes or close it it's better that you close it but it's okay if you leave it open so here is the SharePod window let me get rid of some other stuff so you can see better All right. so to copy let's say you want to back up your entire um, I'm sorry here I'm blanking let's say you want to copy everything off of your iPod and into iTunes or onto a folder on your computer easiest way just click backup iPod and you'll come up with this new dialog box and you'll have some options here that you can select I'm gonna change this folder for the demonstration but you can put it wherever you want and usually the default one is where everybody's default music should be but like I said for demonstration purposes I'm just gonna put it into that SharePod folder that I created okay and then you can do import my music into iTunes and it'll automatically have all your music in iTunes next time you open it. I'm going to uncheck that because everything on my iPod, on my iPhone here, is already on my iTunes. So it's up to you whether you want to import it or not. And then you got options here of how you want that folder to be structured. So you see here you got artist and then album, and then it'll do track title and everything you can change it by genre artist album or you can do custom and it gives you some examples or you can type it in however you feel like I'm gonna leave it for mostly default settings all I did was change the folder and uncheck import into iTunes because mine is already there but if you're rebuilding your entire library 
for whatever reason, let's say you got a new computer and you put iTunes on there and nothing is there, um, leave it checked. Okay. And then go ahead and click OK. You'll get a new box telling you what it's copying. You can hit more details and it'll show you. And it'll tell you if it's failed to copy anything. And if you notice over here, um, it's creating the folders and everything, the structure that you selected. So here's artist, album, and then track title. Okay, here's another example. Let's say you wanted to copy everything inside a playlist. So click on your playlist, and this is all my music that I made. So go ahead and just hit Control A on your keyboard, and it selects everything in that playlist. And same thing, just hit uh, Copy to Computer. You'll get the same box as before. I've already explained everything here, just hit OK and copying and over here in the folder you see artist album titles if you want to copy a playlist real easy you just um, right click on the playlist and copy to computer right here and then same thing again And I know I've gotten questions before about videos on here. From what I see right now, I do not see videos. But I will look for that and I'll write it in the description if I find it. But as of right now, it doesn't do videos. So you're probably going to have to find some other way to do that. I'm sorry. But yeah, this is just the basics on how to use SharePod. And you can also do copy to iPod. And iPhone 4 is not compatible with this. So there you go. That's how to use SharePod. And that's my video. Please comment if you have any questions. Uh, rate it whatever thank you so much for watching hope you enjoyed hope it was helpful see you